Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to welcome you to a quick and dirty tutorial about how I process and edit my photographs to get that final picture that just really pops and, and looks amazing. I've had several people in my past and more recently on the channel ask, how do you edit your photographs? Because they look pretty amazing, right? So I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, just a few easy, simple steps uh, using Lightroom. So we're going to switch over here to the computer right now. And um, what I've got here is a picture that I um, used in my EOS M100 uh, review video. This was actually taken with the M100 uh, Canon uh, camera. And uh, this is how it looked coming out of the camera. Just right out of the camera, no edits done. This is what you got. And you know, some might say it looks like a decent photograph, but then when you see the processed version of it, it just looks so much better. So how, how does that happen? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Starting with Lightroom, well, step number one, you always, always, always wanna shoot in raw format. If your camera can shoot in raw, do it. I'll leave it at that. Step one, shoot in raw. So this is the raw image right out of the camera, the raw formatted image. So what we do, first of all, what I do is that this, I just imported the, the uh, image into Lightroom and I'm gonna click over here on develop. And the first thing you'll notice is this red spot here all of a sudden. And what that's doing is Lightroom is telling you that spot is way too bright. Yeah, um, you need to uh, lower the brightness just a touch because it is it's just popping a little too much. Now, when you process and export the, the photograph, it, of course, won't have that on there, but it's just Lightroom trying to help you out a little bit. But what I do, step one, a lot of people say work from top to bottom in Lightroom. Start with your basic uh, tab here and go to tone, you know, work your way down. But I don't quite do that. What I usually do is I come down here to lens correction. Lightroom uh, can detect what type of lens was uh, the photograph was taken uh, with and it can it has like a profile and it can adjust the image to get rid of defects that that lens imperfections I guess you could say that that lens has so I always remove chromatic abrasion and then enable the profile corrections that it has and it can tell I was doing it with a Canon EM, EFM for mirrorless 15 to 45 millimeter lens you said just by clicking that it changes the image already, right? Just a simple clip. Then I do go back to the top and start working my way down. Now white balance, I usually will leave as shot unless it's something very obvious and I can tell that doesn't look right, the camera didn't get it right, and then I'll do auto or daylight or choose, you know, whatever's appropriate. So we're gonna work our way down here and I usually start with these exposures if it looks a little dark. But the first two I usually play with are highlight and shadows. I'll bring the highlights down because of that red there. Look at that, as soon as I bring it down, that, that red just goes away. Boom. Bring that down. Take the shadow, you see down here in the rocks, it's, it's kind of dark, so we'll bring the shadows up just a little bit. Kind of let them be, the more detail be seen. And you're able to do this because you're shooting in the raw format. It's an un, basically I say format, but it's an unformatted picture. The JPEG is compressed and it's, um, a lot of the data has already been lost. So if you leave it in raw, it's a much bigger file. And it's gonna use up a lot more hard drive space, but you get a lot more data. And then for the whites here, what I'll do is I'll hold the option key on a Mac. And I'm not sure what it is on a PC and I apologize. I've only used Lightroom on a Mac. Um, just do some Google and I'm sure you can figure it out, but I hold option down and when you hold option down and then click, it turns the screen black. And you can drag it to the right and you drag it until you just start to see a little bit of, of spots appear and then release everything. And you're going to get a little bit more of that red and you can just drag the whites down just a touch until you get rid of that red. Then we'll do the same thing on the blacks. So the blacks, we scroll to the left and you start seeing a little bit of black dots show up. That's when you know you're good. So, now these two steps aren't going to make significant changes, but it'll be uh, enough that I I take the time to do it. Now this is down here in this little box here, in the presence box, is where you're going to start to see big changes in the photograph. So I'll take the clarity. So once you get that clarity uh, where you want it, you're gonna you're gonna notice it starts to look a little sharper and. It's really starting to pop a little bit there. You'll notice a little bit of the red showing up at the top up there. We can fix that later. You want to take the vibrance and slide it a little to the right a little more. 
This will really make the colors uh, start popping more. There we go. And then at this point, a lot of times I won't touch the saturation, but we'll do just a little bit of saturation. And you're starting to really see the blues and the yellows and oranges come out. And what I do at this point, well, first of all, let's go back up and we'll take down the highlight just a little bit more. How about let's take the whites down just a touch. There we go. The whites will get rid of that red up there at the top. So you can always adjust the whites and the highlights to get rid of the, the, uh, the, the brightness. And then what I'll do is I'll come down here to this tab and adjust the saturation. And sometimes I'll, I don't like to adjust, if you adjust the saturation slider, it just does all the colors. But I don't always want all the colors. So I'll always, I usually like to take the blue up just a notch. Give that a little bit. And we'll take the, uh, the yellow and the orange up just a little bit. Really bring out that sun more. Here we go. And a lot of times if there's no green or if there's just a little bit of green, I'll, I'll take the green up a little bit. There's not really much in this picture, so we won't have to worry about that too much. And then at this point, we'll move down to the details. And we'll take the amount slider and adjust the sharpening and bring that up. I usually bring that up quite a bit, about half to three quarters. It really brings out uh, all the details in, that you see in the ice here and on the rocks um, and the clouds and stuff. At this point, the picture is pretty much done. And we can look at a before and after by clicking this button in the bottom left here. And you can see really the before picture we started with, then the after. And the after, of course, is what you see. So, a huge difference there. This is how, the, the simple steps really that I got uh, the final product in the picture from, uh, the, uh, from all the pictures that I took with the Canon uh, EOS M100 camera. And it takes a wonderful picture as you can see. Uh, normally I shoot with the Canon 5D Mark IV, but uh, this, I was really uh, just doing a review of this camera and it impressed me re really big. It was, you know, it really surprised me with how well it takes um, pictures. And then once you take those raw pictures and process them like I just showed you, <clears throat> excuse me, in Lightroom, um, you can have a, a really awesome picture in the end. So there you have it. That's the real simple uh, tutorial of how I process my photos. I do this for every photo I take on just about every camera I have, especially if it shoots raw. Now JPEG, you are, if you shoot in JPEG, you're gonna be limited to what you can adjust because like I said, there's not as much data you know, on the image. But um, if you shoot raw, uh, you'll be able to do this. You can process uh, your photos right here in Lightroom. Um, and that's what I use. I used a, a Photoshop for a long time, but I've 100% uh, switched over to Lightroom now. I love the workflow and the output, the process. Uh, I love the, um, the user interface and everything and, and the way my pictures, I'm really impressed how they've come out. So there you go. I hope you'd enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time on the next adventure.